Alright, this is Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 1, first video of the year. And in this video, we are going to be practicing making 10 and adding to 10. Specifically, we're going to be using number bonds, where the whole is made up of two parts. For example, we might have a 5 here, and this might be a 2 and a 3. And yeah, so let's get going. So this says solve, draw a number bond for each set. So that number bond is a thing that looks like, here's one example of what a number bond might look like. So this number bond is going to be for this set of numbers over here, and we could draw another set, another number bond over here uh, for this set of numbers. All right, so let's take a look at these number sentences over here. So you have 6 plus 4, and then here you have 4 plus 6, and then we've got some subtraction, 10 minus 4, and then 10 minus 6. So when we're thinking about this number bond, teachers and parents, um, when we're looking at this number bond, this guy right here is your whole number, is your whole, and these are your parts. So we've got the part Part and whole is our classic way of describing it. And so when we look at this set of numbers here, we can see that our whole appears to be the 10, and then our parts are 6 and 4. Now let's test this out. Well, 6 plus 4 equals 10. And sure enough, when you look over here at this number bond, you've got 6 and 4 combining together to make a 10. And then 4 plus 6, well, that's just the commutative property, teachers. And that's what we want our kids to eventually start seeing, is that 6 plus 4, 4 plus 6, give us the exact same answer of 10. And this number bond also tells us uh, a subtraction problem. It tells us that 10 minus 4 equals 6. And sure enough, you can see that right here. 10 is your whole minus 4 as your part, 10 minus 4, gives us 6. And then similarly, 10 minus 6 equals 4. So we've just completed the number bond, and we've filled in all these uh, fact families here. So our fact family is 4, 6, and 10, right? Sometimes we would write that as 4, 6, and 10 as our fact family. All right, let's try this over here. So we've got 3 and 7. Well, let's solve that. We can see that 3 and 7 equals 10. That means 7 and 3 also equals 10. Now, looking at a little bit of subtraction here, so we've got 10 minus 7. And ideally, students are going to look up here and say, oh, 7 plus what gives us 10? And the answer, 3. Of course, they could have used subtraction. They could have counted down to get the same answer. But ideally, we want students to start to see, at this point, uh, fact families. 10 minus 3 is 7. So what is our fact family, or what is our number bond going to look like? Our number bond is going to have a 10 right here. And then we might put the 3 here and the 7 here. Or, if we wanted to, we could... Uh, switch these around and have the 7 over here and the 3 over here. All right, we're going to move a little bit faster, but if we're going to look at all of these fact families here, this is all part of one fact family, I believe. 7 plus equal, I mean 10 equals 3, 7 plus what? Oh no, this is not all one fact family. This is different. Well, that's cool, so let's solve. So 10 minus 7, uh, 10 equals 7 plus what? So, hmm, 7 plus what gives us 10? So uh, ideally, I mean, students might think of that as, hmm, here's our 10, here's our 7, and what needs to go here in order for our whole to be 10? So the idea would be, oh, well, that's going to be 3. Ah, so here, 10 equals 3 plus what? Well, we can look up here, and we can see, hmm, 10 equals 3 plus 7. So we know 
by looking, peeking at the line right above us that the missing value is 7. All right, so let's go down here. 10 equals 5 plus what? So 5 plus what equals 10? Students can use their fingers. They can use their knowledge of a number bond if they want. It's totally up to them. In this case, we would probably put the 10 here, the 5 here, and the question would be, well, what is going to go right there? And the answer is 5. All right, and then lastly, 10 is equal to eight plus, uh, 2 plus what? Oh, man, I have to wash my mouth because I'm struggling here. Uh, 2 plus what equals 10? And the answer is 8. Teachers and parents, we're just practicing the use of number bonds. If students want to make their number bonds to answer these questions, they're welcome to. But if they can find the answer in another way, go ahead at this point in stage in the game, absolutely let them do that. I'm going to skip these problems over here because I think we get the idea of using a number bond or not using a number bond to fill in the missing value. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 1, Lesson 1, where we are doing a little bit of review from first grade of practice making 10 and adding to 10.